Manhattan's T. Russell Wrights is officially in new pause or, or hands. Excuse me. Uh, Manhattan City Commission approved the city's plan to outsource the shelter's operations last night. 27 News reporter Caroline Soro joins us live from the Little Apple right now. So Caroline, what does this move mean for the shelter? Hey David, hey Mackenzie. Well, this partnership is a good thing because it's actually going to improve the shelter here in Manhattan. The city's been looking for someone else to take over since January, and after several months of planning, a private shelter out of Ottawa, Kansas is going to step in and run things. When the city of Manhattan started looking for better ways to fund its shelter, Ottawa's Prairie Paws answered the call. We thought maybe the private sector could do this better than we could and Prairie Paws came alongside with their proposal. A proposal to take over T. Russell Wright's shelter. But why? We've just struggled as a municipality um, operating the shelter over the last five to seven years. I've had a, have had great people over that time. I've had a, have a great team now, uh, but there's just certain things about running a shelter as a city that are limiting. The city will still own the shelter's facilities, but now Prairie Paws will get to enhance animal services in Manhattan, like trap, neuter and release, as well as possibly a low cost spay neuter clinic, which is something that our community has been wanting forever and it's really, really exciting for us to be able to actually like offer these things now. Which is Prairie Paws goal? Executive Director Vanessa Cowie says Prairie Paws will enhance the shelter's programs and focus on fundraising efforts too. That it'll take a couple years to be able to see the positive outfects that some of the low cost spay neuter and things like that are going to have on our community. We're still going to partner with K-State. We're still going to offer those vaccine clinics. So we're not losing any services. We're just gaining more. I think it benefits their organization as well to grow their audience, to grow their potential uh, list of customers and, and animals that they can serve. And so I think it's really a win win for both organizations. The city says it will continue operating the shelter until Prairie Paws officially takes things over on January 1st. As of right now, their contract will last for three years. And for more information on that, you can head over to our website at KSNT.com. Working for you live in Manhattan, I'm Caroline Soro, 27 News.